Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the title of this week, we will be going to site, yay! <laughs> Finally, I'm taking you guys along to a construction site. Um, it's actually one of Brett's projects and it's a one bedroom apartment and it's a quite a small renovation in gardens. So I'm so excited to show you, but before I do that, don't forget if you are new on my channel, please, please, please subscribe. I would really love to have you as one of my subscribers. And if you are regular and you're back again, um, thank you so much for the support and I hope you guys enjoy this week's video. We're going to be chatting about Orangery. I'm speaking to Brett because obviously he was the architect on this project and slash designer <laughs> slash a lot of things. He's going to give us a quick overview on the project before we head off on site. From design point of view, I think it was very much a lot of trust was put in us because I really designed an apartment for them. It was actually really just they just wanted like almost more what I what I gave them, I guess. <laughs> no, it was. So it was, was, it was a, quite an open brief, I think. It was, it was very much specific. very much open ended. They did they did have a few points that they brought out to me, such as lighting was a big issue in the existing apartments. The existing was basically a very long narrow apartments where yeah. you had your bedroom courtyard which had sufficient lighting. But then the kitchen, dining, and lounge. Lounge obviously was space with balcony, so that had good lighting. Dining room, like this part of the apartment, which was, you know, tucked in my feet, that was actually just an underutilized space. And so they just wanted a brighter. Yeah, and, and, and when with regards to the concern from a practicality point of view, that was their main concern, kind of just breaking down barriers, so internal right. divisions. Yeah. And from a look and feel point of view, they really went to just something super simple. Um, not many finishes. So, so how did you go about choosing your finishes? So they, the client did um, have one precedent in mind. Okay. It was the gorgeous George. For them it was more... It had more to do with maybe not as many built-in features. Mm. More accessories that kind of felt fixed onto like a very minimal teen apartment. Yeah. And then you know, that the clients trusted you. And then a lot of embellishments. The, the joinery just was, was just like cool embellishments that yeah. added to like the. It's like small details. Well, thank you, Brent. Um, thank you. I'm sure everyone's excited to see oh, wait, wait, wait. us on site. <laughs> so exciting. <laughs> and that's a wrap. Oh, yeah. Safety first. Um. <laughs> Please don't be selfish. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, guys. How are you? Hello. So this was my first site visit, and as you can see, quite a bit has been done already. The ceilings are near completion. The walls have been skimmed. Most of the electrical work has been put in at this oh, point. It's stunning. It's nice, right? Mm. Like when it's all the same color, you can just imagine the something similar. Amazing. So this is basically like Kim K's now, mm. almost a little bit. I like all the seamless vibes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the ceiling is a bit too long. Good. Hey, how are you? Mm -mm. And the curves? It's so nice. TV going to be um, mounted on the wall. Uh, yeah. Where's the point for it? Where's that? Point. I don't know, Bridge, who told me? <laughs> wait, wait, the TV points for. Where's the electrical that? So, this is a very awkward part, but it is 100% reality. I mean, things like this happen all the time on site. You might forget to put a plug point, forget to specify a specific height. It's too high. Are they supposed to be lower? Could you specify a height? But luckily, because also they the haven't plastered the walls yet, we still had an opportunity to move things around. I didn't give half yet. Okay. But we just, yeah, we need to, we need to go now. Hey, show me the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the curve's coming. Mm. Oh, it's gonna look epic when it's done. And these deep shadows, it just makes for like a neater ceiling, huh? Mm. 
Oh, pretty. I can't wait to see the joinery items oh, no. in the. Oh. oh, such a nice day. Yeah. Oh, Brayton, are you making me excited? Like, yeah, it is. Like, it's I'm so over Valhalla because it's like not like as detailed as this is. But I feel like the clothes get really inspired by you. Good job. Oh! <laughs> but this actually re inspired me. So, you know, no, Whale no, Rock no, is no. just like curvy. There are curves everywhere. They have arrived. So I'll give you that time you say. How gorgeous are these tiles yeah. that Brayton specified yeah. from this company yeah. in Joburg called? They did the tiles at Saints. Yeah. How sick are they? They're not gorgeous. Oh no, they're amazing. Like the whole wall. It's like. Oh, well, that's your bathroom, right? Yeah. yeah. Floor wall. Oh, awesome. This is a fun project. So, what I need for you is to help me with the biggest decision all of us have probably ever had to make in this profession that we're in <laughs> is what color white do we choose what color white <laughs> god forbid we go too yellow and then we del we're dealing with beige mm, or, or too, we gray. too gray and then, and then cold we, mm. and also the floors have to match the walls have to match the cupboards it's like the carpets having to match the drapes situation <laughs> situation <laughs> and then <laughs> and then what and then i shaved my head as well which i didn't Again? try anyway <laughs> i went crazy that it was on Monday. Right. I had a proper Britney moment. I was about I to say, you, you and Britney are like spirit animals. I know, it was a lot, but it felt so good to do. <laughs> and it should be, it should be quite Yeah, I mean, I'm just asking like more going. Jeepers. I know, it's, it's just... It's, it's so stressful, hey? Oh, like, our oh, job, hey? We like accountants, we admin clerks, we... We Alice. Everything. Psychologists. We are. Cute on the <laughs> oh, <laughs> Brett is just being extremely pedantic and checking that the ceilings are straight. This is an exact a copy of the floor that he made for us and this is one that i've really always liked in the office this is not for the wall. yeah this is already a computer that's mm -hmm. yeah, yeah that's, that's the one that's this one the yeah. Yeah. this is beige mm, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> i'm just worried that this will then look yellow against it no the floor i don't want the floor to look yellow against the wall the joinery needs to match the floors needs to match the wall the one on the and this is for the Utility cupboard and the laundry, yeah, yeah. yeah. as well as the two tool units in your kitchen. Okay. Yeah. Does this look too gray? Yeah. It looks it's a little cold. Yeah. Um, that's I like the, the one on the right yeah. it looks just like it's all seamless. seamless. That's the look you're going for. Yeah. It fits in with everything. Mm. It's a tough call. They're so different. Mm. <laughs> I feel like this combination of goods yeah. and going any more yellow with this no, is going to go like make this fall off. Yeah. yeah. Okay, super. Good. So that's good. Okay, while we are discussing some minor details of the apartment, let's just take a walkthrough of the apartment. So this is site visit number two for me. And as you can see, they have plastered the walls and the ceilings. They have now moved that TV point to the correct height. In the bedroom and bathroom, they are finishing off with the plastering of that shower. And they've completed that low wall with plaster and they have put in all the plumbing fittings. So at this stage, all the first fix items are complete. This is just a close up of the brass trim that sits on the floor, which demarcates the kitchen and dining space. Yeah, 
So the Klekatlans of the town are like this. A centre. Yeah. Two cuttings. Mm -hmm. Equal cuttings. Yeah. And then the trim will be like that. Mm -hmm. One trim like that. So it will be a cutting of that big. Okay. And then a little bit bigger. Okay. And this will be the same as that. And then these go like this. This comes in like that. Yeah. Okay. And then the lip that we have will be like that. I know. All the way around. Yeah. With an LED. But when you think <laughs> this curve is not as <laughs> good. <laughs> <laughs> um, cool. So where your sliding screen is going to be? Yeah, it's like fast. Yeah. So this is going to be grey transparent, sits end of you. Yeah. And it's clear transparent. Okay. Yeah? Okay. Or do you think both should be? I'll I'll probably, do clear, I'll, clear. I'll probably do clear. I'd probably do both grey or blue. Yeah. Not one and the rest. Okay. Yeah. 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 We didn't really choose, even though like, the detailing may be expensive, like yeah. the actual finishes aren't that expensive. Yeah. But the flooring yeah. isn't that pricey. You focus on the detail, which helps yeah. make it look expensive. Expensive, yeah. yeah. So site visit number three. This one was a very special visit because I was so excited to see those green towels from Wolkberg installed in the bathroom. And because there was quite a bit of a dilemma of the towels, which I'll go into now, but I just want to give you an update on what's happening so far. So as you can see, they are starting to put in the joinery. The kitchen has gone in with a few of its appliances as well as some light fittings are being installed, down lights are going in, the recessed lights are going in. They have also added one or two coats of the Pandoma paint finish. So exciting. The bench, the seat will be like half out here. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly explain the whole drama with the tile. So basically, once the contractor had, he had pretty much done a quarter I think of the tiling in the bathroom he then realized that the sealant was peeling and not only the top layer of the tile I actually have the tile here um so the sealant was peeling and also the pigment of the tile was peeling so obviously those tiles were defected in some way um Brett contacted the supplier Wolkberg and had been experiencing this issue with a few of their tiles so it was very unfortunate because we were both so excited for these tiles and we had gotten the client on board to um, buy into these tiles because these tiles aren't cheap. Um, and luckily, Wolkberg was very generous. Um, well, actually, they had to do this because, you know, it is their product. So their solution was to, um, they basically changed the tile. It isn't this pastel green tile anymore. It's quite a deeper, almost emerald green. Um, and that seems like it's just working. I ha we haven't heard any complaints from the contractor about peeling sealant. So that's really good. And I'm excited to see what these tiles look like. And you'll see it in these next videos, what the new tile we chose looks like. Yeah. Yeah, a lot more depth in it, which will go nicely with that screen over there. Yeah. Mm. And, and a lot more speckled. So, we obviously have our sliding door with the 600 deep cabin here. And sliding was it's that's a big one. Yeah. And this wall, if we wanted to push out the washer dryer, it would have to be pushed up by 85, which is not this much. Just too much, in my opinion. I mean, yeah, we could be faced with a cupboard, and I don't know if, don't know if it, even if it will clear. I mean, it might clear, it's not really the biggest place in which it's more 
pushing this out. Because this basin can get pushed out. Like, hold on, get it sites wouldn't be sites with a little bit of drama so at this point we were trying to resolve the issue of the washing machine and tumble dryer not fitting in the joinery because this is such a small space there is very little room for error hi Anna. how are you I'm well thank you good thanks Okay, so you need, okay. No, the 600 view, we had this discussion last week that 600 isn't enough. No, we're not, no, we're not doing the new ones. We're doing the old ones. Okay, so... Three hours later. And hopefully it works. Fortunately, all waterproofing has to come off. So we're taking off all waterproofing, and once we take off certain, this is what happens. Okay, so I'm going to re waterproof this entire area. Okay. And then, yeah, and then. Welcome to my crib. <laughs> okay, this is the toilet slash guest room. So you come in here, there's a sliding door which slides that way, and it slides this way closed. And this is our little toilet here. Just testing out the space. The shower, which is my favorite. The curve. You just have to like test out because you know everyone dances and sings in the shower. All testy, testy. Yeah, that's the last review. And the basin. I can't see you if she's trying to make me. She and I mean. Go 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 go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like some of them. I think it's nice. The other ones, the other ones were a bit. Do you have the Too old ones here? Yeah. Yeah, Thumbs up. Check them. Okay. These. I like. Yeah. See, like I like these. Not necessarily that one. Yeah. Yeah, that one's a bit. Like first, if you see this. It's, a, it's like a very grassy green. Yeah, I really like that one. Nice. Mm -hmm. I like these ones. The lighter ones. Yeah. Maybe because I'm so like biased to those other ones because I've loved them mm. so long. But it definitely looks nicer in this light. Oh, that's actually, oh, yeah, that's actually quite nice. It's a nice movement. It looks like yeah, marble. There's a lot more mm. movement than that. Until they're sick, huh? Mm. Oh, yeah, it's not as flat. But this is not so rich. Yeah. This reminds me more of the same style, but the pink version. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot more movement in them. Mm. And this is one of the problems that I've had over here. So it is over here. So it'll never sit this will always be going up to there, which is a problem. So we're gonna have to cut in your house, Ed. Mm. 
And the day and so the wait, wait, are you just gonna cut a piece off? I don't know. That's or are you gonna thing. cut? I think a piece because on this side it's a long strip that it gets affected. Yeah, I will cut. Yeah, just little, just cut the piece. Just like make little, yeah, like a neat cut out. She was looking so sick. Look at look at yeah. those marks. Of this like congestion there. It's like leather. It looks so nice. Okay, let's take us around for it. And this mirror is cabinet. what we have, a mirror cabinet here. This is our laundry, where we now... Hamza, um, so we're going with it, we're getting a new laundry, a uh, washer-dryer, mm -hmm. integrated washer-dryer. Integrated. Yeah, so it's, it's, you don't have to chase in anything now. Okay. So this will be the cupboard for the washer-dryer, mm -hmm. and we we'll now have a shelf here. This is a double recess mirror cabinet. Mirror, yeah. double vanity. Korean, Korean top, mm -hmm. and then it just oversails by like... 30 mils here, and then you have okay. um, blacks, this black stain timber for the double set of drawers beneath it. Nice. Oh my god, I'm so excited for these like two screens. Yeah. Okay, so then black stain, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna have the strip handle running here, mm -hmm. and then the strip handle for these two cupboards here, and then they join to make like a T. Mm -hmm. So, what's happening here since you don't have a strip handle? <sighs> you're gonna have to choose maybe like how to put it back. Okay. I love that strip. And then you get your LED around the perimeter. Yeah. Nice moment. Nice. Like, yeah, it's, 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 it's taking all of the finishes and just like holding it into one. Mm. And this brings up that zen point. Yeah, we need to put that there so you can have a look. Yeah, let's see. Yeah. yeah. I think we just go for a, a, a thinner, like a finer mesh. Can you see what I'm putting up right now? Yeah. Zeke, but that actually looks very similar to your metal one, huh? I know, this is similar to what I wanted, and mm -hmm. I should have actually just done this. The dining room table will be the time, the dining table will be here. Okay. And then this will just be a couch and a like, coffee table. Oh, okay, nice. In the lounge. So yeah, this is the coffee table. That brass piece still on the floor. So yeah, you, this is, this is uh, utility. utility. That's utility and that's uh, like a... Cloak. Yeah. Oh, okay, nice. And the floor is obviously going to match the wall, so it's yeah. going to be like a whole like complete moment. Bye. Ciao. Bye. Hey. Hey. Oh, you're also wearing a bomber. Mm-hmm. Hi. 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 Yeah. 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 So I just wanted to shoot an outro for this vlog because it just ended um, quite randomly. Um, basically, you could see how frustrated I was at the fact that the tiles still hadn't gone into the apartment and I was hoping that that segment would be part of this first initial vlog but um, you know that's how sites go so it is what it is and <laughs> I'm sure in the next vlog we'll actually already know because I haven't been on site in about two to three weeks so I know that they have started and I think they're almost finished with the tiling so stick around you obviously get to see the final product complete and I'm sure it's going to look absolutely stunning so if you guys liked this video please give me a big thumbs up please comment and let me know which space you guys are excited to see are you excited to see the kitchen the bathroom or the bedroom or I just decided to see the whole thing. So let me know and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.